Uh, welcome back. We are here for the first time, which seems like a long time. We are here in Mass Effect Andromeda. We are at the very beginning of the game. Uh, if you've played this before, we're maybe a couple hours in, and that first couple hours is a lot of just cinematic stuff. We're really at the very start of the game. <clears throat> what have I been doing? Uh, what have I been doing while playing games and life and working but not streaming that's been the big thing we've been gone for a year plus uh, we were streaming pretty regularly and i just dropped off the face of the earth and i do apologize for that i did uh have some updates on our social media account and why i was disappearing and and where i'd been and what, what i've been up to and then i really went dark uh, the short story is, is life got real busy, things got real busy, and wasn't able to really consistently stream anymore, play video games. I would say there was probably a good four months where I didn't touch a controller, uh, which is not fun. <laughs> I like to do this. It's uh, my hobby. Also something just to just do for fun and, and let the stress out and enjoy immersing myself into these random worlds. But there's definitely a good four or five months there where... I had to just focus on work. I had to focus on life and didn't have time to stream. And I didn't think it was fair for the people that have been following us from the beginning uh, to just get an intermediate on and off switch of content without any real heart behind it. So uh, that then extended time allowed me to really reflect on what I wanted to use this platform for and, and what to do on it. And this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to try to play once a week rather Monday or Fridays. It could be morning or midday. We're going to get away from the evening time. That was a big part is I was trying to stay to a schedule and it just didn't work. Uh, I've got two young boys at home. I love them dearly. I got a wife at home, love her dearly, and I need to spend time with them. I want to spend time with them. So I can't just say, hey guys, I'm going to go shut the door and go play video games when I haven't seen you all day. But uh, with work and, and life, I have a little bit more free time at times and a little bit more luxury with my schedule that I'm so fortunate to have that it's going to allow me to play in the daytime and in the morning. Uh, some hours might be long stretches of time, two, three hours of gaming today. It's only going to be an hour uh, as we test things out here. The biggest thing, as always, is I want this community to just be a place where people can pop in and have a conversation. They don't even have to talk to me. They, they just want to talk to each other. That's okay. Keep it friendly. Keep it fr uh, polite. Let's uh, enjoy our time together. And that's the rules. So uh, we're going to play a variety of games as always. You'll notice one big thing. We're not going to have a face cam. Uh, I can pay and get a camera and everything and have it set up. I, I really don't want to, to be honest with you. I just want to play games. You don't need to see my face. If you want to see my face, you guys can go on my TikTok or you guys can go on different platforms that we have and you can see my face. It's not a big deal. I just want to play. I'll have the mic going. We'll chit chat. I'll talk to you while we're playing the game on things I'm doing, why I'm doing it, my thoughts on the game, the story, what's going on in the world. Uh, but I really just want to enjoy playing some video games and talk with the community. So we'll stream on Twitch. We will no longer do multi-stream. We're just going to stay to Twitch. I like the Twitch platform. Doing the other platforms was cool, but it was just too much to manage. So <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll take the Twitch platform videos. After that, I'll cut them up and I'll put them up on YouTube as bots. You guys can watch them on YouTube if that's the platform you prefer, but it might be a couple days after that stream. They'll always sit here on Twitch as well until they disappear from the videos on demand on Twitch and then YouTube will have them for longevity. So if we ever do a longer series of content of one game or like this, where you want to start from the beginning with us, then that's the option. So why Mass Effect? Well, as I'm sure many of you have a massive backlog of games that you like to play. And for me, I've always wanted to play these games. Uh, so in November, uh, I was able to play the legendary edition of Mass Effect. Uh, played one through three, absolutely loved them. Uh, late night, a lot of grinding, totally fun, uh, enjoyed it. And then I got into this one. Uh, and anyone who's played these games before will probably 
also say it wasn't the best thing to jump from one, two, three, and then into this. It's a totally different game. It's a generation difference in the design, the mechanics, everything. It's a massive open world compared to the very linear, structured format of the first three. And uh, that's where I got a couple hours in, and I just said, hey, I need to pause and take a step away because it just is a different game that I need to approach. It's a big open world with a big story. If you've played the first three games, or if you haven't, I'm just going to give you a quick brief of where we are. So in the first two games, your Commander Shepard is doing his or her thing around the universe and around the galaxy, and there's these big bads. And I'm not going to try and spoil much here, but there's big bads that come and go, and in between game two and three is a real big climax moment for the big bads. And essentially, uh, this group of humans and other species that we'll meet along the way as we play here decide that it's best to leave the Milky Way galaxy and go to Andromeda galaxy. And uh, they leave between two and three. So this is many, many, I think hundreds or thousands of years after what happened in the third installment of Mass Effect. Uh, So this is a whole new group. Uh, The guy we're playing here, his name is Ryder. He's a Pathfinder. Uh, The beginning of the game, I'm not going to spoil, but there was other crew members that are no longer with us. And we are what's left. We are trying to find the next Goldilocks planet for human civilization and all of our allies to civilize and make another home and another galaxy so that the big bad guys hopefully don't find us. Uh, But what we have found is there's all this alien architecture here, and there's uh, something wrong with all the planets and the whole galaxy that all of our maps ahead of time didn't really pick up on. So we've landed. Our ship is there. Everyone thought we were dead. We were a year behind schedule. Uh, There was a bunch of mutiny and craziness going on. The other ship that uh, was supposed to come with us, uh, nowhere to be found, can't hear from them. And we are on our first planet here, uh, and we're trying to figure out what's going on with this alien technology. There's an alien race here that's very aggressive. And uh, there's a little bit of grinding here with materials. There's a little bit of grinding uh, through the map and and going to different things. We're just going to kind of stay on the straight line of just playing the story and having fun. Uh, If you've been here before, we would just play to have fun and, and learn the story and, and kind of play the movie of the video game. Uh, I don't have it set on a very hard difficulty and you may find that, you know, I'm just kind of going through and that's, that's the way I like to play a game. So I'm going to sit back, get quiet, play the game. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back again. I know that was a long winded welcome in our first stream, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's up and what's going on. Uh, but we're going to jump into it here, and uh, when I talk next, it'll probably be uh, when you guys start chatting here in Twitch chat, and uh, maybe when when some cool stuff happens. So sit back, enjoy, jump in the chat, and we'll talk soon. So here's our weapon wheel. Just trying to remember what I have here. And what all the buttons are. All right. We do have some skills. So this is me, this is Ryder. Uh, Right now I've got Cora with me and Liam. So you can tell we're very early on. And it has been a couple months since I've played this, so it's going to take me a little bit to remember how everything works. So this is the the mission we're on right now, Secret Project. Uh, that's what we've got target on the map. Uh, let's see. All right. All right, so we're going to go here and um, continue. Where is... 
So before uh, before I played any Mass Effect games, the first Bioware games that I played was Anthem. I loved Anthem, by the way. Uh, I was so sad that it was a failure. I loved how the game worked. I loved how it played everything. It was thoroughly a game that I, oh no. <laughs> It was uh, thoroughly a game that I enjoyed. It just, unfortunately, was not Mass Effect. And I think that's what everyone assumed. And why am I stuck in, like... Okay. Uh, but that's what everyone thought. They thought it was going to be Mass Effect uh, in a new skin and everything. And that's kind of what Bioware hyped it up as as well. I, I Again, I personally loved uh, Anthem. I hope it comes back as a reboot of some sort. Uh, but yeah. So this is our Nomad. Nice little six wheeler we got going here. I, I want Anthem to come back. I want Anthem to be a thing. I enjoyed it. I think uh, they were trying to be Destiny. They were trying to be Mass Effect and they found somewhere in the middle in No Man's Space and it was just an epic failure. So, but the mechanics were flawless. And it's so funny because when I first started playing this game, uh, the first thing I said when I was able to get that jetpack was, oh, this is where it started from. So it's a, it's a bit hilarious for me that I started. We weren't there. We all know. Someone's up to fix this mess. We support the Pathfinder one job at a time. Uh, it, was, uh, it was fun to to see it in reverse. You know, you, you typically see... Anything big and hungry. Resilience is more than a name. It's our duty now. Lost Lost small people. People. Where did it send us? You get to see a game company develop. You get to see uh, how the mechanics grow over time, generations. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I hit... I held on to that button too long. Oh no! Uh, but anyways, it was uh, it was just pretty cool to uh, see it in reverse, seeing the end product of some of the mechanics that were in Anthem that were so exciting and fun, and, and now seeing it where it started from. Um, it's a nerdy thing, but something that I have found uh, pretty pretty cool. Uh, so this is our ship. <laughs> We are going to use the galaxy map and go back. I held on to that button way too long. All right, we're all good? Yep, yeah, we're all good. Okay. We'll just confirm our loadout.
Testing above normal radiation levels. Where the attack? What's going on? Oh no! Okay. Where'd these other? Uh, where'd these guys come from? Who are these guys? I almost forgot about this cool scanning tool here. I was trying to figure out what we're supposed to do. All right. So where do we go now? You said want us to go for the secret, secret project. Oh, that's not the button I wanted to push. Nope. Okay. Research station, waypoint. Any actual science, don't care about that one. Forward station, a better beginning. What's out here? Memory trigger, hitting rocks for science, hitting rocks for science. All right, we're probably not going to do these hitting rocks for science ones. Maybe if we're bored, or if we just want to grind some stuff. But uh, okay. But you can see, I mean, compared to one through three, this map is huge. This is just one planet. It's still restricted. I mean, it's not No Man's Sky. You can't go wherever you want. But compared to what it was, it's a bit overwhelming, to be honest, when I first started this. But let's go back here. We're just going to fast travel to that research station.
All right, where do we go? Okay, looks like maybe over here. Trying to figure out if we missed something here. We did the secret mission. Scan planets, okay. Scan Andromeda, wildlife, okay. Research center development. Oh, okay, maybe that's it. Craft a weapon. All right. Let's see what weapon we should craft. All right, I'm gonna craft a weapon. Hmm. Let's do a sniper rifle. Might as well. Can we get it? Is there a better sniper rifle? Okay, there's this one. Do we have everything? We do. Oh, we can update our vehicle. Okay. It looks like this Viper one is the best one. Let's go with that. Okay, and we got skills. This is what is overwhelming in this game, is there is so much, so much to update, so much skill points to use. I don't know, we won't use anything with biotics, biotics, ugh, biotics, uh, that's not our character build. We will do stuff with tech and combat. So, what's... Okay. Regenerate or consumables. Well, let's regen regenerate. Heavy lifting. Okay. Let's see, what else? Okay, incinerate, I like this. This is probably one of my favorite skills from the original games. I think we used all our points, we did, okay. Uh, do we have any points? No skill points.
Okay, let's see what we can do with Korra. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna auto. Auto level up Korra, auto up level the NPC characters. They'll make them nice and balanced for us. Again, we're not on super hard difficulty, so not the end of the world. Mark all is seen. Mark all is seen. Oh, that's all. Additional task, set past a hero, wait for Akira's next interview slot, okay. Spine and scan, colonist bodies, got it, okay. I guess that was all we had to do was scan that project. I thought there was something else there. Alright, I guess we'll just go off to the next thing then. Alright. That's rocks. We don't want that. I think this is where we need to go to. Yep, a better beginning. All right, we're going to go to a better beginning. We'll uh, lead into what is actually going on in this game in the next story. Okay, I don't have... So we can't just change our weapons out. Got to actually equip them. All right, good to know. Do I have a forward base that we can jump to? Nope. Okay, we got to actually drive there. Here we go. Asari character, uh, if you know anything about the first games, an Asari character that we've met. I did, I did build a relationship in the first and third game with the Asari character. I did not have a relationship in the second game, so anyone that's interested in my choices, uh, I was good. I wasn't a renegade. Uh, I don't know yet. Oh. Let's see. Do I want to go? I guess I don't want to go straight. Oh, we'll see. I don't know if I want to romance anyone in this one yet. Uh, I think, to be honest, like so far, the characters I've met are pretty shallow. But again, we're extremely early on. What is this?
Okay, so this isn't a bad guys. Okay, we don't need anything like that. I was seeing if maybe I could get in that thing, but I guess not. Okay. But we know the bad guys are around, so let's be wary of that. presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outlet site. Cat and remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. So, if we clear the skies, this might be our new home. I do like the fact that uh, this feature of all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, or six-wheel drive, I should say. So it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, that PB character was the other Star Starry character, so that was who I was talking about. I'm sure we'll probably see her here, but this is the other monolith that we're kind of dealing with, so. These ones don't seem hostile. Let's see what we get into here. Oop, I hear something. Okay, so there is bad guys here we gotta take out. So this is not the alien people. This is some kind of alien robotic uh, race that was here that are protecting these monoliths that uh, so far we've been introduced to. Uh, not sure. And then, oh no! Oh! This thing's trying to eat my face. That was the first time I've experienced that, to be honest. And I'm about to die. I don't run. Okay, that one's done, I think. Nope. I detect a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to decrypt. Oh, and that's the other thing I forgot to mention if you never played this game, is we have an AI technology in our head. That's the other voice that you might hear. And what we believe is these monoliths are like doing something with uh, the environment. And that's what's causing some of the weird weather situations going on in this world. Ooh, this is okay. Eww. Override description. Use one remnant. Okay. Oh, reset the glyph. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Browse clip. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, it's like a Sudoku puzzle.
Hmm. Description impossible due to missing glyph information. Scan the advice surroundings with glyphs. Okay. Looks like we're missing something. Wonder if I get anything on the scanner. Remnant code. Is there any more code? Oh, yeah, I gotta get up here, don't I? I think I do. Okay. Oh, is there a glyph over There's a glyph somewhere around here that we gotta... We gotta connect with. All right. Gotta figure out what's the best way to get up here. That So, typically up on these things is what I'm looking for. Oof, no. So there's high radiation on this planet because of whatever these glyphs are doing. Okay, maybe it's over here I have to get to. Give me some kind of location or some sort. Okay. Where can I jump up from? Glyph is up here somewhere for sure. Unknown. There it is. Any glyphs over here? I feel like I'm missing one. Okay. Okay, that does that. We don't need that. Let's check this. Okay, there's another glyph around here. Where? Maybe it's over here. Let's see. Above us. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Doing some puzzles. There it is. All right. All right, so Sam is the AI that I was talking about that's in our head. Okay, let's see if we can solve this puzzle. Now we got all the glyphs. Okay. I'm presuming it's like Sudoku, where like the numbers can't be right next to each other, right? Hmm. 
سره bad guys I was talking about. These are the alien uh, cat, whatever, uh, that kind of just beat the crap out of us on the first planet we landed on. And we don't know who they are. They won't talk to us. There was a cut scene early, very early, that kind of hinted at like kind of a religious sect type alien race that's trying to also figure out what all these are like they were before their time so I was just thinking the same thing huh. any more guys no one else someone's oh no I'm hearing jumps okay I'm hearing jumps I'm thinking it's like lasers all right let's get back into our six-wheeler Power wheels. Radiation level increasing. Well, can I get in? Get me in the Nomad. And let's check our map real quick. So there is a forward drop station here. Let's uh, go get that actually first. Then we got that waypoint to jump to. Is then here, memory trigger. Yeah, let's do memory trigger in the forward base. I want to... What's our radiation? Do I have anything for... Okay, we're going to put this on. We're in the Ket Integrator Armor 2. Can I apply this? Oh, it doesn't look like I can. This inventory, right? Can I do anything with... All right, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. All right, we're gonna go set up this forward station. That way we got that waypoint. We can fast travel. Oh, I tried to jump it. Forward base, good. Let's see what's going on over here. Detecting radiation levels. Oh, I didn't know we had those lights. Unfortunately, we've lost another researcher. Okay, we are going to go. So these are mining zones. It's pretty cool. It's a different way for this game to get you to get resources versus like just sending probes and stuff like we did in the second one and the first one where you had to land and actually go get stuff. Uh, this is a little grindy, but um, it's okay. We're gonna go to this 
memory trigger. Something's going on with Sam. We haven't really quite figured out yet. He gets these memory triggers, which is like super intriguing for the fact that we've never been here before, but uh, we're getting memory triggers. So yeah, trying to figure that out is pretty interesting. I don't know if there's a way. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. What did I just land on? Oh, outpost site. Okay. <laughs> I just jumped off a cliff. Just jumped off a cliff. You can see the mining map there if we come up on like some really rich mining area depending on what we're looking for it's very similar to the first three games but this kind of is just drive as you go i think i'm kind of lost here there's a lake here we can do some fishing a lot of radiation though all right how the hell do i get out of here now I jumped off a cliff. I don't know where I went. All right. How do I get out of here? Okay, keep, I'm just going to keep following this through, Abbott. We're going to try and get here. That's where we're trying to go. Let's just follow this and see what happens. Best paced. Maybe I got to go down now. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to go through here. Nice little cave. Um, uh oh, oh, we're going to get out of here. We're just going to go. We're not staying. We're not staying in the little forward base cave. Oh, radiation is three. Okay. Radiation is three. I don't think I'm losing. Oh, I am. All right. Life support is not doing good. All right. So we're not going to be able to do anything here until we increase the radiation protection on the all right so anything radiation three is kind of like the invisible wall in some games we're not quite there we got to do some research make this thing better so yeah all right, all right we're gonna go there Wee-hoo! Fairwind Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. A little bit of 
time. Maybe more than a little. Alright. All right, everybody. Uh, I'm going to leave you kind of on this cliffhanger. We will come back. This is the game we're going to play. Uh, like I said, we have a backlog of games that I'm trying to get done. Uh, I want to – I have Last of Us. Yes, I've never played The Last of Us. Uh, so that game is in my backlog as well, as well as some of the just fun PS4, uh, PlayStation games. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, the next one, I forgot what it's called. That is uh, in my backlog as well. I actually just downloaded it. If you're a PlayStation player and you got the premium PlayStation Store exclusive package catalog thing, <laughs> PlayStation Plus, that's what it was, uh, you can get that right now for free. Right now, download it for free before the DLC comes out. For the month of February, rest of the month of February, March, get it. I just did it myself. Uh, I was waiting for PlayStation 5, uh, but we also have High on Life. I've been playing that. That game is hilarious. Uh, loving it. I actually just got steam for the first time on my pc so we're gonna have some games there that we can play which is cool i haven't done that yet on stream uh, but we've got so much more this is gonna be back to regular so i will be back next week it could be monday it could be friday that's unknown it could be a, a night stream it's gonna be once a week to start and we'll go from there but thank you so much for everybody again one time shoe an uncomfortable temp thank you for the follows really appreciate it everyone who's jumped in on twitch today great thank you so much i appreciate it if you're watching this on youtube vod like, subscribe, share, spread the word. Delta T Gaming back. My name is Sean. You guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, enjoy the wonderful weather around the nation, and we'll see you soon.